Hey guys, so I'm here today to talk about what two-dimensional collision or two-dimensional elastic collision is. Now, before we begin with all of that, you may have questions about like, what is the difference between two-dimensional and one-dimensional elastic collision? Well, in one-dimensional elastic collision, change of velocity occurs only on one axis, meaning that we have to conserve momentum in one direction. On the other hand, when we are dealing with two-dimensional collision, we have to conserve momentum on two axes, which is the x and y axis. Now, we could do this by using the two respective velocities of each object. Now, before I get too in-depth about two-dimensional collisions, let us begin by asking a question, which you may all have, and that question is, what is elastic collision? Well, elastic collision is a type of collision where kinetic energy and momentum is conserved. Now, when we write this down as equations, we get Ke initial equals to Ke final, and P initial equals to P final. And this means that K kinetic energy initial equals to kinetic energy final, and so on, so on. Now, another question you guys may, ha may have is, uh, what happens in a two-dimensional collision? Well, in a two-dimensional collision, it usually occurs when a projectile heads towards a target and hits it. Now, this projectile has a velocity of greater than zero, and the other object has a velocity of zero. So if we write this down, we get v1 is not zero, and v2 is zero. Now, some common examples of two-dimensional collisions are, firstly, billiards, or pools, and another example is used, it is used in nuclear physics, but I won't be talking about it because it is far beyond the field of what I have studied. Okay, now, uh, let's move on to the next thing, which is our example question. Okay, now, I'll give you guys about 10 or so seconds to read the questions and analyze and look at all the given things. Okay, hopefully you guys are done with this, and um, I'm going to show you guys how to solve this question uh, carefully. So let's move on to our whiteboard. Okay, so this is our whiteboard. Now, let us begin. So firstly, I would suggest you guys to draw out the picture. As you can see here, we have VA or ball A going towards ball B and it collides with it and ball A goes up and ball B goes down. Now, it is given that ball A has an angle of 30 degrees as given right here. And then we know that ball A has a mass of 0.12 kg. Ball B has a mass of 0.14 kg. Ball A has a speed or has an initial speed of 2.8 meters per second and has a final speed of 2.1 meters per second. Okay, so let's go to part A of the question first. Now part A says that give us two or well we have to give them two question or two formulas that we we can derive from the question. So these are the two formulas we can derive. Now these formulas are given and uh, so this formula says Px or momentum equals to ma times va equals to ma times va and so on. And then the second formula is zero equals to ma va sine, uh, sine theta and so on, so on. Now using these two formulas, we can actually solve question B. Now let's move on to question B. Okay. So to actually start solving all of these questions and find each part of the thing, we have to first begin by finding the angle of B. Now, how can we do this, you may ask? Well, we can do this by using tan theta equals to sine theta B over cos theta B, because we're trying to find angle B, angle B, this angle. Now, we know that angle A is 30 degrees. So using all these formulas, uh, we can derive this. We can derive all of this. Now you may be asking, where did all of this come from? Well, for this part from here all the way to here, this part came from this formula. And then this from here all the way to here comes from here. Now we move all, we, so we are doing this and this. So we just move the rest of this to the other side. And this all the way to here, we just move it to the other side. Now, since we have the formula ready, we just have to solve, we just have to move tan to the other side, which gives us inverse of tan, and we fill in all our information given, and we should get our angle 
as 46.9 degrees, which is our angle theta B. Finally, since we have theta B, now we can just use VB. We can use VB equals to MA VA sine 30 over MB sine 46.9, which we just found. Now doing all of this, we can find that VB is 1.23 meters per second. Now hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, educational video and thank you for watching.